Hello everyone, <laughs> good morning, good afternoon or good evening and welcome to a new episode of Hashtag Duos Playing Together. Hello, Hi. we are the duo Southern North and we have another duo today with us, Jodian and Monica and their duo is Derek's Mojo, if I am pronouncing it correctly, okay. Hi. Monica. Hello, yeah, she's Monica. She really? showing yeah, up. <laughs> there is a name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tell me what you did. Something interesting and nice or crazy you did today. I did some gardening. Wow. I was given a book for Christmas, which is all about the secret life of plants and the intelligence of plants oh. and how they can think and feel and these experiments that have been done on them. Yeah. And it's made me really paranoid about hurting my plants. And I talked to them and I've got some chard that I need to harvest to cook. And it's been sitting there for a few days and I just feel so bad <laughs> when I cut it down and I was thanking it. For, for supplying me with food and I left a couple there and I was being very um, it was like a little ceremony for my plant that I will enjoy later oh no that's awful because I only eat plants and nuts and I'm <laughs> very cute. you're so cruel Desi <laughs> pretty much maybe Desi you should start harvesting yourself because do that with consent that's the only safe thing to do yeah yeah but there yeah. is you know we don't have enough uh sunlight here in Brussels, so I will probably die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing you're missing is sunlight. If you had sunlight, you could just go to town. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Monica? Um, I suppose one of the things I've, I did, I haven't been leaving the house and doing as much exercise as I should. So yeah. I just put on show tunes and lip sync to them <laughs> and just pretend I was singing those great songs. <laughs> that's Fine. good, yeah. <laughs> it's... um. Are you usually doing um, relaxed things during the weekend or do you have to work? Um, well, it's a mixture of things. So I was like, I've just been in bed. I've been watching TV programs, doing a little bit of um, writing, had a meeting. But I feel like the weekends are still a little bit more chill. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. But I still do just do bits here and there. Yeah. But yeah. I thought, do you know what? Let me just dance to show tunes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Great. If um, I'd been a dancing weekend, there's something about the weather. I was dancing a lot last night to any song and every song that came on because it's just the sunshine is so lovely and it feels springy and so it was kind of yeah, springy, in a dancing spring, mood. Yeah. Nice. yeah, we had almost 20 degrees at uh, one day last last week. And now today we have five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's still a very blue sky and sunny and um, when you look outside, it's a good feeling. Yeah? So, um, yeah gives energy <laughs> and that's what we need for improv too <laughs> so we need a yeah we need a suggestion from the magical hat Ooh, what fine hat. yeah it's a it's a um how do you call that again a, a fish a gangster hat i would a, a say gangster. i'd be worried about your secret life with a hat like that <laughs> have you got a violin case as well it's for a few in Yoko's case, it's film noir. Yeah, it's for film noir. A fedora. It's called a fedora, this, this style of hat. They all have names, these hats. So, um. Okay, a suggestion. This is from uh, Pierre Paolo Buza from Impro Brussels. And it's something uh, you find on a second hand market. Yeah. And it's a rare vinyl LP of. The Piper at the Gates of Dawn by Pink Floyd. Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, an old LP. <laughs> I don't know the song. <laughs> For boys, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Pink Floyd. Okay, so that's something you find on a second-hand uh, fair or uh, auction house or whatever. Um, so that's just. Johan, meanwhile, can you put the whole suggestion in the, <laughs> in the chat? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want, but I have yeah. to type it in. Well, we can start now. Huh? Yeah? Okay, um, then I put it in the chat. The art disappear? Yeah, okay. So, break a leg. Sarah? Sarah, there was a bag of stuff. There was a bag of things in the hallway that I put there that I was just tidying up and it's gone. Do you know where the bag of things that I put in? Yeah, I uh, 
I saw them in garage sale. <laughs> yeah, and you didn't sell everything that was in the bag, did you? I I, I sold the whole bag. Well, as a bag? Yeah, like this. I no, didn't know what, what was inside. I just, I saw an old bag and I... Yeah, no, no I, I, I had all my vinyl in there. All my records were in there because I was just having a clean out because, you know, I moved, I put the new shelves up and I wanted to put them on the... You didn't... Re Who did you sell the bag to? To, to Frank. Frank's not talking to me at the moment. Yeah, but he would buy everything that belongs to you. Yeah, and he... I, oh. And he has a gramophone. Yeah, I know. I know. And I, I don't. And and ever since Frank and I broke up, he's been, you know, holding that over me. And I was determined. That's why I cleaned out all my records. That's why I dusted them all off and was going to, I was going to buy them. I've been looking at them on sale to buy myself one. And, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I really, I really needed the money. I had the broken crown, you know, one of my teeth. Okay, so I've lost all my records because you like to eat toffee. Yeah, I love toffee. Oh my God, do we have toffee? No, it's just going to take out your other teeth if you have more toffee. Listen, Marta, I am addicted to toffee, you know that. And just you saying the word toffee, it, it makes me craving. Breathe, them. breathe. Remem remember what the doctor said. Breathe, go to your happy place. Go toffee land, land, toffee land, toffee land, toffee land. Think salt, think salty things, think peanuts and crisps. Don't think about just peanuts and crisps, salty things, pizza, anything but to oh, to mm, toffee. Do you want me to ask Frank back, uh, Frank for, for your back? Would you do that for me? You know, I, I get into a room with him and I just go all tongue-tied and I start saying the most ridiculous things. I just I just want the the records back. There's, there's a particular one in there. He knows which one it is because it was our album that we listened together to. So One day I would be happy to hear about your history, guys. <laughs> what happened there? It's... Really? Yeah. You actually want to hear about my my story? Yeah, with Frank. Oh wow, that's a big change for you. Yeah, I know it's this uh, toffee therapy thing. I... Okay, so that's a way of describing. I, I I'm not happy anymore. You know, not eating uh, toffee, and uh, now I'm ready to to hear about the uh, depressing things and. Uh... Okay, well he was. I swear it was love. He's my soul partner, really. So that's why breaking up with him has just to kind of devastated me, as you know, that I've been locked in my bedroom for the last two weeks crying. And having the clean out is what was making me feel better. I was positive. I was rearranged everything. And you've gone and got rid of it. It's, I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going to get angry with you. I'm not going to kick you out of the house again. You, you see, without uh, without toffee, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I cannot control myself sometimes. I, I mean, if I don't eat toffee, I have to smoke. <laughs> and uh, I don't have the money for, for cigarettes, and now I cannot smoke, I cannot eat toffee. It must be something more that we can, we can do for you. Music would be great. Music would be wonderful, and I would introduce you to some really wonderful music if I had... So you can bring it up with Frank, but yeah. do you think you'll be able to, you'll just ask for him and he'll give it back? Don't tell him it's for me. Uh, I, I just sent him a text and he will be here in five minutes. But I, I have to go back to the dentist. So uh, good luck. Oh, 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 Lord. Oh, um, oh, uh, just, I will make myself decent. Ding dong, ding oh. dong. Okay, um. Act normal, just breathe. Just remember that it's over. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> come in. Oh gosh. Hi. Wow, you shaved your beard off. Hi, Marta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a. Uh... Do you... don't you think I'm looking younger now? Yeah, I've... I can honestly say I've never seen your chin. No. <laughs> it's, um, it's quite a nice one, isn't it? Really. Well, you you saw my chin one day, I think, twenty years ago. Oh, yes, yes, that was, yeah, and then you, you didn't want, yes, 
Yeah, I was playing Santa Claus. You remember? And I oh, shaved myself people. because I have to had a big yeah. beard. And yeah. the little kid who kept pulling it down yeah. from you, and saying, "You're not Santa, you're not Santa," and pinging it back, and it hit you in the face, and then you got the eye infection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a shared past we have. Yeah, I know. Um, Sarah sold you a bag of things that belonged to me. <sighs> yeah, it could be. Um... Did, did, did you, you know the things I mean? It was the records were in there. There's there's that there's that one record, Frank. There's that one record, and I don't want you to think that I was to, I wanted to be rid of the albums. I wasn't throwing them away. She gave them to you by mistake, and I want that album that that you gave me. It's even got the inscription that you wrote on the inside leaf. I still remember that we were married ten years, our tenth <laughs> anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I had so much effort I did to find that record for you because I know you love Pink Floyd so much. And I I bought it on e from eBay even and for a ridiculous price. So. It, it was the best gift you ever gave me. Actually, it was probably the only gift you ever gave me. You, you did a very good job of forgetting wedding anniversaries and birthdays and to pick me up from work when I was across town. There were lots of things you forgot, but that was just, I'm not getting bitter, Frank. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up the past. It's really lovely to see your chin again. It really is. Marta, I, I, I just can't handle it anymore. I, I, I don't want... I think this breakup thing we do, I don't, I don't, ha I'm not happy with that anymore. You said to yourself, we, we need some more space and we have to date other people. I don't want to date other people. I, I, I want to be with you. I, Frank, Frank, the space thing, you haven't really taken on board the space. I mean, you just, you just moved next door. Ah, I don't the want to be. That we would go apart yeah of course but, but you need some help in your garden look that's, my hands I, I did I, I did some gardening this morning even haven't you noticed no I did the water feature okay. that you built out there the whole yeah water yeah and, spouting elephant thing is just it's beautiful just amazing. yeah it, it is amazing and, and I will do some painting uh, this afternoon as well I think the living room your live well your living room needs a bit of color yeah um, yeah, okay. Right. Um, okay. Realistically, you shouldn't actually be in my house unless I invite you. I, I, I know Sarah invited you this time. Um, and that's just because, did you bring the thing, did you bring the record with you? No. Okay. She, she said she was going to text you that I, I wanted it. Back. Yeah, yeah, I've got a text. Yeah, I've got a text. Thank, yeah. So, yeah. so can, I, nice. can I have it back? I'll, I'll pay you for it. How about that? That way it's not going to be an awkward thing. No. It won't drink. I can't. I can pay you. I've got money. I can. I'll, I'll sell the dog. No. Please, Frank. What about if I agreed to go on one date? Just the one you've been hounding oh, me. We can, we can have dinner again in our favorite Italian restaurant. Yeah. Okay. But if we see anyone we know, they ha we have to let them know that we're not back together. We just no, 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 no. You have to promise. When we go to pizza into the into the restaurant, we have to we have to be a couple again. And, and when people see us, we have to say we're back together. That that's a proper date, I think. That's a proper date, yeah. That's a really proper date. You and me, oh. like we've done, like we've done more than ten years. Yeah. Okay. Will yeah. you wear a shirt? I, I just can't, I don't think I can sit at a table looking at you in one of your animal costumes again. Will you wear proper clothes this time, please? I thought you loved my lion suit. I do love your lion suit, but it, I loved it more 10 years ago when it was new. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I will... a lot of pizza spilt on it since I will then. put, I will put on, <laughs> yeah. I will put on a shirt and pants, proper pants and shoes. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I agree. I okay. agree in principle.
to go on this date with you, this yeah, one date with that's you, fine. in exchange for which yeah. you will give me back my Pink Floyd album, but in- I'm going to choose the outfit you wear. Okay, okay. You choose the I'm outfit. I'm going to pop next door to your place now. Do that. And I'm going to lay out the clothes on the bed that I want you to wear that yes. I'm willing to be seen with yes. you in public wearing. Okay. okay, okay, that's fine. All right, so, um, and then we'll go for the pizza. Okay, I'm going to go do that. Hmm. <sighs> Kelly! Oh, oh, Frank! I wasn't ah. expecting to see you. I was, I was coming in just to speak to Mar- M- Marta. Yeah, oh. hi, hi, Birgit. Oh. Hi. Yeah, um, we're back together. <laughs> really? <laughs> Mar- 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 yeah, yeah. Massive surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it happened. I, I came here. I mean, I did a lot of work in the garden and in the house and cleaning stuff and painting and whatever. And mm-hmm. and yeah, she she said yeah she wants to go. Uh, we are going to have a meal, uh, Birgit. Oh, yeah. She said yeah. she initiated. Yeah, she initiated. Yeah, and, and, and do you know I uh, I will probably yeah. As from tomorrow, I will live here again. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like house jumping. I was going to say house swap, but not really. <laughs> I'm just, um, I'm obviously happy for you, Marta Frank. But after the breakup, it was a very intense breakup. The whole street felt it. Well, I think. I say street. We're a cul-de-sac, so we're pretty much a family. Yeah. Yeah, I regret that a bit. I mean, you you have seen everything happening from across the road, yeah. I have you yeah, seen everything. I cancelled my Netflix subscription. <laughs> Didn't need any more entertainment. Yeah, I, I can't laugh with it now I, I, because I know everything will be fine. I, I just, but um, when when she tr- has thrown all my clothes, uh, including my lion costume on the street, do you remember that? Oh, it, oh that was so painful, so painful. But uh, yeah. yeah, I saw that from the crying that you did um, in the street. And um, when you pitched up the tent, tents aren't soundproof, so we could hear your sobs until you yes. secured the um, the house next door. Yeah. You might have actually even pushed out those people. <laughs> They've lived there for forty years, and they yeah. have to get out. Yeah, but I, I went to them and I just convinced them. You know, you know, I, I know how to convince people. No. Yeah, how is that court case going? <laughs> Why are we always talking about? <laughs> these things now well, the court case well I, I i will i will i will appear in front of the judge um in a, in a week or so um sorry, sorry. okay it's but uh yeah i mean yeah I, well they 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 complain to the police about my yeah and then i shouldn't be yeah I, I did a few things which i shouldn't have done because i was so excited i had to live next to martha gosh <laughs> Should it be illegal if it's for love? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a judge. No, 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 really. But I must um, say, I really enjoyed how you helped me the last months, really. Well, do you know what? Like I said, here at Cul de Sac, we are just, we're a family. Yeah. You know? We're just a, a loop, a wrap around. And if I can't help one of my fe- fellow family members, in the community, yes. what kind of person am I? I'd say, what kind of person am I? What yeah. kind of person would I be if I didn't help you out? T- tell me examples. I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, you, that would not be nice. It wouldn't be nice. I'm no. pushing you, I'm no. pushing you. No, anyway, yeah. I came here to see Marta. I wanted to talk to her about the neighborhood watch. We've seen a lot of littering <laughs> recently and we was gonna do a little um, tete-a-tete, kind of like discussion, put our heads together to see how we can deal with this serious problem in the street. Uh, if you want, if you want, I can, I can patrol here in the neighborhood. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can. Sure. Yeah, I can do that yeah, if you want, because this should be a good neighborhood. Yeah. Well, it, it it was a good neighborhood, and then a few things happened, and we have people shouting in the street, belongings that should be inside the house, outside. We yeah. have a one man festival <laughs> camped out. We yeah. have court cases, um, eviction notices, and now littering. (laughs) Not in my cul-de-sac, get out of the sack. That is probably something we're gonna put on the posters, get out of of the sack. Oh, you're not referring to me, no? Oh, 
oh, oh there's lots of different things going on okay we okay. as a community just come together yeah, and support yeah. each other so just just to um review marta is aware that you're in the house i just wanted to just yeah, just a conversation yeah. She's, she's picking aware. a she's aware she's picking a costume for me for tonight when we go to the restaurant a, a costume for the oh wow <laughs> yeah 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 she wants that i have a tie and a, and a shirt and proper pants and everything Oh, no, we are really, mm, oh, it's big love again. Really big wow. love. Yeah. Uh, a shirt, a tie, pants, shoes. What are you dressing up as? A decent man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kid, I joke. We're all family here in the cold. Uh, okay, it was that? a joke. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's good. Well, I have to go because I think I'm going to wear my golden watch, which was given to me to my, by my father. Hmm? Yeah, so um, oh, I should I, I wait? Should I just wait here for Marta? Yeah, just um, just yeah yeah, just wait here. I guess uh, she might. Put wait, your house as well now. <laughs> put the kettle on. Uh, yeah, just put the kettle, kettle on for a bit of for tea or something. Yeah, I, I oh, okay. will come back shortly. I guess. See you. Bye, Frank. Am I going oh. home? Oh, oh. oh. Hello. Hi. This is strange, isn't it? This is not my house, but I'm here, Rachel. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, nope. Is it difficult with the old move out? How, have you found somewhere yet? No, there is no decent apartment for me, you know. I just cannot find anything in this neighborhood. And I want to live in, in this neighborhood because everybody feels so free here to do whatever they want. <laughs> uh. It must be so hard because you moved in here with Marta and now you're being kicked out. Well, I'm assuming you're being kicked out unless you're having a... How come? I'm not kicked out. Oh, sorry, I, I shouldn't have done that. I just assumed that because Frank and Marta are getting back together that you wouldn't have a space here anymore. Frank and Marta are getting back together? Yeah, Frank let me in. I don't just go into people's houses. I'm not Frank. <laughs> that's weird. That's, that's really, really, really weird. Okay, this seems like it's new information to you. Would you oh, like to see? Completely sorry. new information. I, I just boiled the kettle would you like a tea yeah please like i said frank let me in so it's all okay oh, oh you but, moved nuts. <laughs> but i mean if, if frank he really moves back here that means i, I have to move out oh i do you know what i was making some assumptions you take sugar me neither um i was making some assumptions so that's on me. So don't worry. Here you go, Cam chamomile. I just find it's more calming. You drink chamomiles, don't you? Of course. Yeah. It's hot. What's tea? <laughs> no, I... Ooh. Frank, really? I mean, he recently tricked me into sending him something that belongs to, to Martha, and I didn't know it was important for her, and I... I it's a lock of her hair. Sorry? Was it a lock of her hair? It was a bag full of old records or something. And he said he really needs them. And I was okay, fine. I, I need money for, for my teeth. But it, it, too much sugar. Oh, wow. And wow. now, I mean, I, I basically, I did him a favor. And now he, he wants me. I mean, he... He wants me on the street. Oh my god. Rachel, I'm no Rachel, we are a family here in the sack. And do you know what? I will not see a fellow sack member out on the streets. No. If you must and you have absolutely nowhere to go, there's literally not a single yeah. place you could be. Like hundred percent the last result absolutely drastic measures like there's nothing like b c d z pan is gone you could stay with me okay i can i can move stay. with you until the rest of the day it's not a problem yeah, yeah. just yeah so just a, f a few nights we're all a family i couldn't see <laughs> you on the street 
Especially with a litter bug about. Did you did you see the littering? Me and um, uh, Martin were going to have a meeting about it. Yeah, littering. But I mean, it's fine. Who doesn't do that? I mean, sometimes. I mean, not me, not me, not me, of course. But uh, there are Respectful people. citizens. That's who doesn't do it. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> deserves to be here. That's who doesn't do it. See, Rachel, even the chamomile tea is not working. I'm so sorry. No, but see, I mean, Marta is our friend, and now she's she's back with Frank. Should we do something there? You remember the last time? You know? Oh, we all remember the last time. I had to re-get Netflix once yeah. they had to split up because there was nothing to watch. There's no someone, to... someone took these videos and, and put them on, on YouTube. I know, that was terrible. Greatly edited, but terrible. Great lighting and angles, but absolutely terrible yeah it was someone from the neighborhood I, I i suspect oh i couldn't imagine any of the family doing that not one of our suckers even I'll with the good that. quality of the videos huh mm. very good very good yeah thank you it's someone who knows them really well anyway you shouldn't blame yourself just because you took the possessions of one of people that you call a dearest friend, you gave it to an ex, that you, they obviously had a terrible toxic relationship, you sold it to them for money because your inability to look after your teeth as an, um, an adult doesn't mean it's your fault. Yeah, Rachel. you really know how to make someone feel better. Thank you. Thank, I've taken an online course. <sighs> oh, well. If I... Oh my lord, Frank, you're not here anymore, are you? Please, you've got, you've got off. Oh my gosh, Amanda. <laughs> we had our meeting, I forgot. Um, no, I'm sorry. He's, he's just... Oh my gosh, I'm looking in Dave. his house, looking in his wardrobe to find him some clothes. And mm. he doesn't own any normal clothes. His wardrobe is just full of animal costumes. Martha, is there something you want to, to, to tell me, to, to share? Um, okay, yes, all right, okay. I, I, Amanda and I are having this meeting today because we have discovered that the littering problem is your sweet wrappers. I, we wanted to get all the evidence together before we confronted you. It's like a intervention thing, but the littering, <laughs> it's, it's just ruining the cul-de-sac and it's, it's your sweet wrappers. They are, we've, we've had some people go out and pick up the litter and when we generally look, it's just, it's toffees, Toffee crisps, toffee yep. chocolates, toffee on a stick, toffee apples. Yeah, I don't even recognize. They are good for, for the birds, for the pigeons. I, I think that's not a fact. It is a fact because, you know, pigeons, they are fat and uh, they start, they would start chasing them when, when, when there is uh, the wind, for example, and they, they are losing uh, weight. The pigeons. Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> if we wanted to do this in a gentle way, this is why, you know, Amanda and I were going to have a meeting first so we could decide how to bring the subject up with you. Um, Just put it out there, didn't you, Marta, without any planning? No, no don't, don't worry. I, I forgive you in advance before the meeting because, Marta, I just found out that Frank is moving back here with you. That means that I have to... What? <laughs> no, you could... What? Is, is he here? No, he's not here right now. He, he. I think he went to grab something. I saw no, him. Sorry, Frank's not moving back in here. <laughs> why would I have? Why would I have Frank back in here? I've just finally got all the stains off the wall. He told me. Wait a minute. Let me just cancel my Netflix um, subscription because this is getting interesting. <laughs> Under the illusion, I say illusion, I would have thought it was a fact. Frank in this very house who invited me in, this was the reason I was in here when Rachel came in. I obviously don't have a key that I would use or my neighbours. And he said that you're getting back together and you're moving back in and you were very aware of all of this information. I was surprised because of the type of person he is, the toxic actions he has put forward and like the him using love as an excuse just to do naughty things. Okay, um, I have agreed to re-engage in a relationship of 
kind with Frank for the period of two hours over a pizza. Marta. Why? Why? Exchange, I'm getting the record back that you sold. Oh my God, the well, record? Coffee addiction again. With I can go, I can break into his house and steal it for you. Yeah, or I could use the key that I have to everyone's houses. This is an emergency, so it'll be fine. I'm going to go and get dressed for my dinner date. Uh, she, oh, she's going on a, I'm going to leave this yeah, house. Yeah, I'm going to my room. I'll, I'll bring back the mug. <laughs> Just make a lot of trash. Well, that woman is gone. Because in the sack they want to have uh, clean streets. <laughs> Okay, Frank, Frank, Yeah. before we go into the restaurant, okay, I've got a few few rules I need to lie down before we go in, okay? Okay. All right, do not address me by my name. Call me, call me any other name you want. I don't want to draw attention to myself. Um, we need to sit in the corner, in, at the corner table, in the, the dark corner table, um, over by, not, not near the door, not near the toilets, <laughs> not near the kitchen, okay? Somewhere nice and quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda, you're so funny. <laughs> I ordered as a table for two in the middle of pizza. I ordered the band to play some music for us. It, it, and it is, look, is the table in the middle of the. Oh my God, there's my record. Ah, oh, Frank, can you not get it out of the table, please? I don't want to get pizza sauce on it. Please don't. don't. <laughs> Oh, I only hope it will not break, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> please, please, okay. All right, um, can we get some wine, please? And two pizzas. You still, you still do yeah. a margarita with wine. us? Wine, yes? wine, the music. Okay, um, yeah, uh, two pizzas, please, quick. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, uh, no, it's, it's not Marta. No, I'm not Marta. No, thank you. Hmm. Uh, God, a new beginning. Yes. For the next 20 years. For the next 20 minutes <laughs> yeah 20 minutes <laughs> i mean what's in what's in a bit of time hey? yeah 20 yeah. minutes for waiting for the wine most probably they are not fast here at all yeah no, no. no. frank i've noticed you've got a bit of tooth decay starting there i have what Some tooth decay your teeth are looking a little bit hmm that's that's where your your mouth your mouth almost looked like rachel's mouth in some kind of way you know yeah. it's a bit what she yeah. had she's yeah. spending all her money on dentists now you know <laughs> she should be paying rent but dentists seem to be a more important thing to her mm. yeah yeah it's yeah. a strange person she is a very strange person yes but i don't want to talk about her i want to talk about us rachel this is not a strange thing we're doing. We're looking out for a very kind friend. Okay? I want to break in his house and find this record. Please give me the key so I, there is no need to, to break the, the, the window. Rachel, let's just say hypothetically, I accidentally, oh God, I've got something in my mouth, accidentally shared with you some information that I may have some skeleton keys for everyone who's in this cul-de-sac. How, what, what kind of head of the neighborhood watch would I be if I gave the keys out to anybody who wants it? This is not a swingers party, we're not just swapping keys. You will be the perfect head of the watch of the neighborhood because you are watching after your friend. And this, this guy, he's, 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 he's a monster. He may be a monster, but in times like this, the things that we do show the measure of a person. And perhaps if no one spoke about it, if I was to give you the key, it wouldn't have actually happened. If you I, ever... I know, I know that all of you in this neighborhood would blame me about the toffee wraps, but it wasn't me. I. I will confess something. I eat toffee with wraps. 
in everything. Oh, wow. So you're literally ingesting waxed paper or plastic. <laughs> so delicious. If the toffee comes in a box, would you eat the entire box too? Oh. I never like to shame a fellow woman, but shame on you. Shame. Oh, gosh, you're so... Okay, fine. We, together, will go into Frank's house. Yes. You're the kind of person that eats the wrappers off a of toffee. You can't that be pizza, Marta, that was just delicious, don't you think? Yes, it was ab absolutely, absolutely perfect. We, we hand the album over now. Come on. Uh, we have, we have, I, I, will, I, I still have to talk. I have to say something. We have to talk. We have to talk. I just want to say that you are really the best thing which ever happened to me in my life. Well, we know that, don't we? Yeah, you keep me... Because of you, I'm, I'm a good man. I, I, you're a better man. I would say you're better. I wouldn't say good. It's a big, no, 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 no. big difference, you know, on a sliding scale of things. No, no, no. From, um, <laughs> yeah, to good. You're better than... You're still in the lower percentile, though. Really. You, you're always so <laughs> modest about yourself. You made me a good, a good, a very good man. Since Frank, the only reason why the Neighbourhood Watch lets you live in, in the street is because I, I said that they should let you because I felt sorry for you. The, the whole neighbourhood voted for you to be evicted, sent I, away. I, um, you did a good word for me. Well, 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 I, that's a proof of love. That's, that's a real proof of love. It's a, it's a proof of how difficult you were making the splitting up of our joint finances, and I thought that it just might, you know, let you yeah, give no, a little no, bit. No problem. I, I can't live without you. Okay. So, we have Mr. Ramajan, keys from number four. No, we don't need that. Kiki's keys from number 20. We don't need that. Mrs. Ramadan's keys to her office and security box. We don't need that. Ah, here we have Frank's set of keys. There you go. Give it to me. Okay. So I am going inside. You stay here. That was not the plan. Oh, you're walking away. Okay. That was not that was not the plan. What do you want to do? Do you I, want to go inside? I I want to make sure I can trust a woman that eats toffee with I'm sorry, I can't get over that. What, what, a what, what okay, fine. I will keep watch. I'll water the plants or something. I'll pick up some trash so no one sees anything. And you go in and see what you can do. Just just go in the house, fine. So, Marta, I have a big surprise for you. <laughs> yeah. I bought two tickets for Venice. Oh, to where? To Venice, Italy. For the two of us. Okay, like yeah. we went. You're trying to recreate our honeymoon. I, I, I do recall. Yeah, um, we leave. We leave next week. Oh gosh, I've got a conference next week. Um, oh no! Now, I, I, and then I'm having my uh, my leg amputated as well. No, so, no. I'm not going to be able to get up for many, 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 many. I many called. Years. I called oh. your boss. I called your boss, and I said, "You you take a week off." He was so happy that we're back together. He was your manager. He was so happy. Yeah, and, and, I, and I called the hospital. Uh, there is not, not nothing wrong with your leg. <laughs> That's a, okay, that was a joke. Frank, yeah. it's too far. Too far. Uh, it's just, yeah. Okay. I was inside and I found a huge pile of toffee wraps. And unfortunately, I ate all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I have the receipt here. See? I have the proof. It was Frank. I don't know what you're proving. Frank has toffees oh, inside his house. Frank, just get the key and open the door. Just let me in your house now. Just let us in. Oh! 
What? What are you? Are you you're in Frank, Frank. These ladies are in your house. What's 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 Surprise! the meaning? Yeah, happy Monday! Happy the birth of a relationship day. Oh, we are not. We and I've just come to collect my vinyl. Where is it, please? Uh, yeah, oh, I, I will bring it with me. Yeah, when, when we when we live together, I, I will bring the vinyl with me. When you we, give it to me. It's mine. Okay, you can't take it off me like that. It's just this rep. You've um, you've etched, you've etched our, our names and love hearts into the into the record. <laughs> yeah, just across it. I don't know if it will play again. You have but... scratched my Pink Floyd album. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's rather deep scratches. <laughs> hey, Frank, I, I found a receipt. <laughs> What's it a receipt for? Sweets. For Toffee World. Oh my. Hmm? You're the, you're... No, what? Are you the toffee litter bug? Come on, Martha, you've seen me eating the toffees with the, with the wraps. Yes, I know. I've had to perform the Heimlich maneuver on, maneuver on you many a time when you've been choking on those really long chomp bar wrappers. And I say, at least cut them up into little pieces if you're going to insist on eating them. And But you don't. And then I have to, you know, perform a laparoscopy and all kinds of things to get it out of you. But uh, so Frank, Frank, he wants me evicted from, from the neighborhood. And from yes, that's true. I wanted you away from this neighborhood because I want to have a future with Marta. I want to move in again. That's that's my o only reason. You had to go. Frank, as the head of the neighborhood watch of the cul-de-sac, you have stepped too far. Marta, you're a grown woman and your relationship choices are your choices, but this is completely toxic. Frank, no means no. Going into people's houses, if you don't have proper reason or authority, is, is, is terrible and unhealthy. Martha does not want to be in a relationship with you and you cannot just push people in and out of the sack however you want to and then you can especially not litter. I think you should be out of the sack. You need to leave and work on oneself. Frank, do you mean what you've written here? Yeah. This, this, this beautiful poem about the first time you... Do, do you actually mean these words that you've written here? Yeah, I know them by heart. You and me and everything in between. You and me forever and ever. You we and me. We are a dream. Oh. We are a dream. That's so beautiful. I never knew you had poetry in you. Yeah. It's, it's only when I'm with you and thinking about you that I feel the poetry coming up. Why would you like this when we were together? <laughs> we shouldn't oh. separate. We are not meant to to break up. If you mean the words that you've written here and you, you're willing to live by them, then I'm I'm willing to take you back. No, no. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I will be better. Yeah? Yes. Look at his teeth. Well, I've been looking at your teeth for the last three months and believe me, <laughs> you're missing me. Right. You, you're not kissing me and you have to kiss him. Okay. No. Body aside, look at this place. It's ridiculous. He's got a, a bike in the shape of you, etched in uh, is your name. He's got an, a, a, a gnome over there. That looks like a mini gnome of you. He has no regular co clothes. I don't want to kiss you. Him, he has your face on the toilet paper. You know what? Pass me those sweet wrappers. Pass me some of those sweet wrappers. I'm very good with a needle and thread, you know. I'm just going to sew you some new clothes out of your sweet wrappers, Frank. Okay. I, I promise. I promise. I will behave normal here in the neighborhood. I really promise. And 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 I want to apologize for putting all the toffee wraps on in the street, and I want to apologize for that. And and and. And the old couple next door, they can go, go back and live in their house as before. Well, they, they're afraid of you, Frank. 
I, I, I think you, you might want to live there. It'd be quite nice to have you living next door. Yeah. You know, I, I like seeing your face over the fence <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, yeah but you... both of you, you're going to pay the rent of this place because I cannot afford it. And I can eat all the wraps on the street. I can do that for, for, for a living. That solves our little problem. Of course, it solves everything. Oh, just... But it's only, we, we only need to have the green light of the heads of the neighborhood watch. Uh, Please. I am going to my house to drink alcohol. I'm going to resubscribe to Netflix because I feel like taking in these storylines is absolutely ridiculous. And I suppose since I have no authority truly to kick anyone out, I'm giving you the green light. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We, you know, we've been talking all through the night. Look outside. The sun's starting to come up. Yeah. It's the dawn. It's beautiful. It's like a big toffee bonbon. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I hear some music somewhere. Can anyone else hear music? Some music. And as the sun comes up, it's just amazing. It's yeah, like, it is. Yeah. And, and tonight, I give you all a treat in pizza. In the Italian restaurant. What do you think? I'll, I'll take that. I'm off to get changed and if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, me too. Great. Yeah. Well, Frank, I guess it's you and me sat here watching the sunrise. You and me again. That strange piper that's playing there. I hope that's not someone who's new who's moved into the neighborhood with bagpipes. That's that's never good. I mean, no, bagpipes up. Listen to it this morning because it's kind of romantic, but um, I, I don't want a bagpipe player. No, I, I can't stand bagpipes. I can't I can't stand them. I I, I, I have to go. If it's true, I I, I kick them out, yeah? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll bring it up at the next neighborhood cul-de-sac meeting, shall yeah. we? Yes, okay. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm I'm going to go put my record on now because that way I can drown out that piper because he's <laughs> yes. just ruining he's ruining the dawn playing the music. He like does. That. He does. It was a beautiful sunrise, but that bagpipes just no no bagpipes yeah. no bagpipes no 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 bagpipes. Okay. I, I'm going to have a look there. All right. End scene. <laughs> 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 you wanted to come back, uh, Jodi Ann? No, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> you realized I had pirates popping up. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Lovely story. Fun time. Oh, the story. <laughs> oh, that's the bad character. <laughs> it's nice. I think it's really nice to hit those. <laughs> unlikable characters and deal with them yeah in the Yoko, Yoko hits them all the time <laughs> oh, no, not all the time <laughs> you at the bad guy it's the film noir thing isn't it yeah yeah probably yeah, yeah a, a little bit of bad and a little bit of good in one person that's mm -hmm. always nice <laughs> if Frank had a good heart I think we can say that for yeah, him yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for this. So, yeah, let's have a little chat about uh, the improv things you do. In your duo? Yeah, tell us about the duo. Um, Jodie, can you take it, take it away and then I'll get in there. Uh, Monica and I, well, we've been improvising together for quite some time. We've not, um, for the moment, we're mostly doing a waking up on Saturday morning, yeah, yeah. Um, little catch up of what we've been doing in the week, which we then string into a, a little poem. Uh, there's been a few technical hitches over the last two weeks that I'm still trying to iron out. Uh, it's me and technology, but we'll get there. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah. Monica, you can take it now. I, I'll take, I don't know. I just That's a seamless segue. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I love the fact that we literally were existed just because we were the only two people that were free. <laughs> <laughs> in a larger group it just got to the point where yeah other things were happening in their live at lives and then we were like free um and then we're just like oh we'll do something on the side and then years later we're still doing the thing on the side we're like oh we're part of that group that never performed anymore <laughs> um, and such derek's mojo um uh, was born Great. Um, i'm nervous about obviously the changes to like 
the restrictions here in London. Yeah. But I am looking forward to the fact that we will have more opportunities to play in real life and get back to rehearsals, being in the same room with someone. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's really important. I like that that skin to skin contact. Not that we're improvising and rehearsing naked, but uh, <laughs> I want the option. It's, it's been known, but you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. the weather has to be just right. For yes. That one. So, so how long? How many years are you actually a duo already? Oh gosh! I look to you, um, even if you can't see me looking in your direction. I, 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 well, oh, um, years. Yeah. Years. I would say it's definitely plural. Yeah. Um, more than two? Oh yes, easily more than two. We've been in lockdown for a whole year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. How long have you been doing something? And then plus one. I love the, that's the, the yeah. world we're living in now. Yeah. Um, yes, everything plus one. Probably yeah. four years. Okay. Oh, wow. And when you yeah. perform on stage, uh, what as a duo, what do you typically do? Do you have a special format or is it something you like to do? We have a bit of a hybrid format. Monica and I sat down together when we first decided we were going to do something together. And we sat down and we went through all the games that we know and all the different styles and all the genres and say, this is what we like to do. These yeah. are the things that we like to. But we, what we both really love is telling a story. Yes. We both sort of love yes. the narrative of a story. Um, and so we do a, a kind of a long form story, which is the Mo and Joe characters that we play, who are a little bit hapless. <laughs> okay. What say about Mo and Joe, they're a little bit hapless. So they have a long form story that they're telling, and then in between the story, we kind of break out of that story on three times to tell an, a separate, unrelated story okay. that is inspired by something that's happening in the long form. Story yes, yes. Jumps off and gets into it. And that will be with different characters then. If you a little it's a break whole down. Story okay, nice. The, it's just the theme of it is something. We usually ask, go to the audience and say, "Well, this has just happened in the Mo and Joe story, and they've gone and tipped buckets on themselves." Has anybody <laughs> ever tipped a bucket on themselves and get something from the audience to take it? Great, yeah, and, and you're both like bringing the audience in a lot over the course of the show. Okay, yeah, yeah, and you're both in London, so you perform a lot in London, then. So yeah, we did some London, but like we're also happy to drive <laughs> to places outside of London, and it's just really nice to just see what what's going on um, in other communities as well. Because yeah. um, I know as a person from London that um, we think we're the center of the world, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> things going out, out outside so we'll happy happily drive many an hour to somewhere else yes. <laughs> through the night pull up in a truck wind our seats back and have a sleep um it is a lovely thing because we do sort of we're happy to travel around the country yeah. and, and beyond um and it's just really is as, as monica was saying it's lovely when you go to these other places and the improv community is is all new people because there's a lovely thriving improv community in london um and there's a lot of people, so you're not seeing the same face all the time, but it is, yeah. it is, and there's the energy and the vibe to it. And then you go somewhere new and you meet new people in their, in their new place and the way they're doing things and what, what their zeitgeist is. I mean, everything kind of crosses over in, in some way, but there's always some new thing that they've got going on where they are. And it's just so lovely to meet them. And they're always so welcoming and generous yeah. and, and sharing. And it's, it's just, it's like a little holiday <laughs> you've never met who were your best friends as soon as you walk in. True. <laughs> That's so great. Do you, do you perform online as a duo in a festival? I haven't yet. Not online. Mm. We've gone to festivals at night in the car, drive mm. to a field somewhere and do, do, do our thing. But we haven't done duos online yeah we've been doing also like separate projects because like Jolian does um pirates prov um as well which pirates prov did you get to be outside did you manage to find that sweet spot to do improv outside Jolian with your last year we we went down to the the river and did some fun with photos oh yeah so we haven't had quite the chance to be outdoors yet but online pirate provs have been smashing it doing pirate themed improv which is just joyful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get to do a funny accent, so I'm always happy to play <laughs> And do you do, uh, Monica, do you do also online improv in other troops? Um, yeah, so pretty much it comes to the point where I was just like, anyone that would ask, I'd go. Yeah. I've now started saying no. I've been really like, 
2020 and 2021 has just been a year of no for me. <laughs> um, and also just like respecting and like exploring my boundaries as well, just because I can't do everything. And also no. I see it as um, if I say no to something, um, so, I mean, somebody else gets an opportunity. So you've got yeah. to share the love. It can't just be me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 It can be a lot. Yeah. If you say there's, there's so much going on nowadays. Uh, we see really it too. Like it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but there is probably some sort of limit that you shouldn't cross because otherwise it's getting too much. Yeah. Yeah, for me also, I feel like it was just, it will get to a point where I'm improvising about improv because I've not lived in life having experiences to like have rich characters and such like that. I'm just always in improv talking about improv. So, like, I was like, oh, actually, I feel like I need to just um, have a break sometimes even though i love it and also especially if i get booked for a workshop or whatever yeah. or if i get introduced to a show it might be the case that actually we're doing a workshop on diversity or you'll speak on a panel because yeah. i'm a queer black improviser yeah but then i just get to the point where i'm like i'm not the only black improviser in the world <laughs> <laughs> so like why other people like <laughs> let's not be so incestuous yeah yeah and to the end of Apart from Pirates Prof, do you also have other uh, projects coming on? I, I, that's the main one. I've been doing like a few, there's, there's some other lovely people who are doing things online that have jumped on and done improv things with them. I'm also an actor, so I've been working on some acting projects as well, where it's, it's yeah. scripted material, which mm -hmm. is always fun. So I've had to learn a few scripts lately. Okay. <laughs> I remember how to do this. I remember how to learn mine. Usually one... <laughs> best way to learn lines is out in the world walking around but at the moment it's limited how much we can do that okay. so um yeah i've been on my exercise machine trying to learn lines <laughs> and and doing that yeah and also just creating content and things for animations and, oh, and making okay. things i also do yeah i find that very satisfying that's a really lovely thing to do in lockdown actually well to have uh, the time do you do you teach improv online offline I don't know. I, I have taught in the past, um, but no, it's not something I've started doing. But you never say never, do you? I was going to say, like, pay Jodi Ann to do it. She's a really good teacher. I feel like um, a lot of rehearsals is pretty much a lesson for me. <laughs> I'm just like, I can be quite a strict teacher, though, is the other thing. I'm, I'm, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> Some people like it hard. So, so often people will say to me in a workshop, it's like, no. I want you to be tough with me. I want you to be truthful. And I'm like, I am being truthful, but I'm just not doing it in a mean way. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so... mean about it. I'm just honest <laughs> with my opinions. <laughs> it's true. If you want an honest opinion, go to Jodi Ann because, and it's helpful. Because obviously, to I, say do, that I often, do critiquing. I do script critiquing and story critiquing as well. Okay. Um, and but I always tell someone before they give me the thing that they want me to critique. I always say to them. Do you want? Do you want me? Are you prepared for me to be honest? Yeah. Because, yeah. Prepared. It's a it's honesty. a it's a tricky thing. Uh, getting uh, feedback and comments about things you do. It's uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some people are good with it or handle it very good, and some people have a bit more difficulties with it. It's, uh, oh, but, it all stings. I get the same when people cr and I'm just like, oh, oh, that hurts. That hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And then you go away, you think about it, and you process it, and you go, oh, maybe that's got a point, okay. Yeah. And I find notes really difficult, because I find that, um, which I should be better at as an improviser, but doing something instantly, someone's going, this whole thing that you're doing, you need to do it completely different on like a theory or a cerebral like, level, and I'll be like, I need some time, I just need, I need some time to just go... Especially if it's something that's scripted or whatever, yeah. then to be like, quick, do it now. I'd be like, I'm not ready. Let me no. have a really shit rehearsal. I'll come back and I would have done the yeah. things, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I think with the rehearsal room, be it in improv or scripted work or R&D work or anything that you're doing in the rehearsal room, the rehearsal room is the safe space to fail. It's yeah. the place where you can try out things and you can do crazy, crazy suggestions and crazy things. You go, I'm just going to try and do this in a scene and, and it may completely be a disaster. Yeah. But you wouldn't have known that if you didn't try it out and 
that's the lovely thing. Like, and Monica and I have that when we're in rehearsals together is, is that we just, we can just push it out there and, and go for things. And then we'll go after goes, perhaps we shouldn't bring that storyline up. <laughs> no. <laughs> not the storyline that the general public should know we ever went there. It's like, let's get it out now. You know, excise those demons now. That way, when you're on stage, you won't be tempted to say them. Yeah, because yeah. I did that story last week. <laughs> True. <laughs> and that's for me too. If you... They say often you have to embrace failure and everything, and, and failure is no problem. I think it's okay in the rehearsal, like you just said, and you have to do, and you, it's no problem at all. It's a safe space, and if you fail, you fail, and uh, you learn from it, and that's that's the key thing. You yeah. you fail, and you learn something, and you will not fail or do the same thing again probably in the future. So, uh, and that's the uh, that. Uh, he will be. He's back. <laughs> right, places too. I'm back. So let's see if the live stream comes back too. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, he's back. He's back. <laughs> so we were out for a few seconds. <laughs> well, we, oh, oh, you missed some good things. I have to I'll tell you what was spoken about in those few seconds because it's important <laughs> we don't repeat ourselves. But, oh, you missed out big time. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the first time it happens during the show. It. Uh, Happened a few times before, but just before the show. So, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, um, thank you so much for being with us. Um, it's really, yeah, it's so much fun. <laughs> and I hope one day we can be together on stage. Oh, that would yeah, be lovely, wouldn't it? Yes. Because then I'll know how tall you are. <laughs> I love <Yeah>. London. <laughs> yeah, you don't know how tall I am. <laughs> What sort of shoes do you wear? Who knows what kind of shoes people wear these days? Yes, I don't have any shoes, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm Thank going you to so bring much us... for having us. It's been really, yeah, really lovely. That's good. That's super. So I bring us a flying. So bye-bye, uh, everyone. And um, yeah, many thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Um.